what's up? It's Mackle Man. Welcome to the Father Muckin Internet. So I made a video back in February, and you all seem to like it quite a bit. And because these legit theories videos are a little bit of a pain in the booty to make, I told you all that if it reached 100 likes, I would make a second one. And it reached that. So here I am. Except this time, it's a tiny bit different because these theories do not include Lelouch at all. That's right, I decided to make theories on season three that didn't even include Lelouch, that follow other characters, like side characters and stuff. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the worst Photoshop you've probably ever seen. At the end of season two, Natalie's left in charge, and she finds herself having way too much spare time. As a result, she decides to take up the most obvious hobby available to her. Bodybuilding! Trained by Rivel because he also has nothing left to do at this point. Season 3 follows Nunnally's inspirational transformation from crippled damsel in distress to Damn steroids are the best! Follow Nunnally as she trains for the Big competition! So that she can win all of the prizes. <laughs> uh, I don't know, what are these sports movies normally about? <laughs> After the events of season two, life wasn't perfect for everybody, including our very own Colin. After the war, she left the life of violence behind her and tried to live a normal life, but she struggled to stay on her feet. But there was one thing that she found that she was able to find peace of mind through. Starting her very own candle making business! She becomes the proud owner of Colin's Candles! Look, look, the, the word candle, it's, a, it's spelled, with a, spelled with a K. <laughs> Yeah, you get it. She becomes a booming success with innovative candle scents like Nightmare Fuel, Sundari Citrus, and Fan Service. In hopes of taking her business to the next level, she decides to go on Dragon's Den, where they never even heard of a Sundari, so they, they they reject her idea, and she gives up and goes back to fighting things in giant robots again. The end! Now everybody remembers whatever this scene was. Well, there's actually much more to this story than meets the eye. Much more. What you don't know is that the very moment that this poor table was defiled, it gained sentience. Now a consciously aware table with nowhere to go and no place to call home, Table Cook sets out to find his purpose in life. Friendships will be broken, hands will be splintered, and maybe, just maybe, by the end of it all, this broken table will find a new leg to stand on. Code Geass Season 3, The Table Cook Chronicles. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed these theories. Uh, if you have anything else you would like legit theories made on, whether that's an anime or other things that aren't anime, leave them in the comment section below. If they wrestle my jimmies enough, then I might just do it, no? And also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot more than you know. And if you want to step it up a level and help me out a little more, consider sharing this on the social medias like the Twitter machine. Facebooks and the MySpace if you still got it. But anyway, thank you again a ton for watching. This is Michaelot signing off. Bunch of exciting things coming for this channel really soon. Anime North's just around the corner and I usually wing these endings and I'm running out of things to say. I'll see you next time.